Hello, thank you for joining me on another episode of Welcome to My World. It's windy. So today guys, this is going to be our first in the series episode of van life. So today we've got a few bits to do, um, so we're going to show you that. We're going to do some cleaning and, so sorry it's so windy, we're going to do some, we're going to do some cleaning and we're going to take some bits out of the van um, that we need to dry out and do some rust treatment. So yeah, let's get into the video. So, so I'm just going to take the tyres out of the van. Are you just I am filming your bum, always. That's what Kev says, that I always film bums. <laughs> the eye is drawn to what it wants. Yeah, the eye is drawn to what it wants. Come on in, man. You can roll them down the street, get some muscles. That's a bit more room to work with. Beautiful. Right, well, I'm going to start unbolting the driver's seat from the inside. Uh, I'll leave you to do your bits for taking out the trim covers around the footwells and stuff so we can start getting the flooring out. Yep. So we're in the front, so Sam's going to tell you what we're doing. Okay, so on these Mark 6 transits, it's quite common to get leaks down these A pillars where some plastic clips get broken and it leaks down the A pillar into the footwell and soaks this area of the floor. I do think it is that because it's actually the footwells either side that are wet and the bit in the middle is fairly dry when I pull back the carpet. So, so we're going to take up these mats and screw yep, um, so. these bits down here, get all this out, take these seats out. Yep, got to take the seats out and then we'll get all this flooring out because it was soaked, dry it all out. We've got a carpet back which will vacuum it and suck most of the water out. And we're going to take this headliner off as well, make sure there's no leaks up from the top, which means we've got to take the sun visors off and the grab handles. And uh, yeah, once it's all dried out, we'll leave everything out of place and seal everything up. And then next time it rains really heavy, we'll have another look and see if it stopped leaking and we fixed it, or if it's still leaking and we need to find where it's coming from. And then we can clean the van. Yeah, and take all the seats out and start making it into a camper. Whoop, whoop. Let's get started. Right, also guys, we've got a lead running from our house. Um, so we've got power, electricity, um, so we can run a fan heater, which we're running inside the van to dry it out. Hola. Hola. And we've got some visitors that come to see our van. Hi, you all right? It's Chloe's birthday. Happy birthday, Chloe. <laughs> you just got to work it slowly and carefully. It won't be a quick process, unfortunately. You're gonna have to unmount the fire extinguisher as well. Yeah, they all are. Might put some rush down the hole and clean them out. There's a lot of dirt and grime in there. Yeah, well, look at that one. That took me. Ages. I'm trying to get out these um, little bolts from the floor so that I can, uh, can take the liner out in the front. Good times. We might not have to take the driver's seat out. Check them. It looks like the floor mat might go around it. Yeah. Oh, there's a cook. There's a cook. Oh, this one's going to come out. The seat's in the way. What if these break? Then we'll have to get new ones. Put this on to time lapse, guys, because it's taking a long time.
guys was struggling to get the uh, mat out. I thought it was me being special, but Sam is struggling as well. We think maybe there's a little bit of water under here. Cause it seems like resistance when you're trying to pull it out. So we will see together what's underneath when it comes out. Come on, Sam, well, you can do it. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to, uh, I was trying to put the screwdriver down, but it's resistant. There's nothing else holding it off, I see. No, I don't, there's no more screws or anything. No. It seems like down here, it seems to be stuck. I think they put glue behind, maybe. Or I think it's the water. I'm not sure. All rust on your jeans. Yep. I'm going to have a look under the van to see if there's anything that looks like it's poking through and locating it. Oh. Want a pillar? You drop your drugs out. What drugs you got in here? Oh, that must be that. Uh... <laughs> your lem zip cold and flu. <laughs> Can you see anything? Yeah, it looks like there might be bolts. Oh, from the inside? From on the yeah. inside? course there is. There's something here. What's there? Is that on it? Or is that under it? That's... No, that's under this. Okay. Yeah, that's a bolt thing. Yeah. There's a bolt here. Yeah, this has a bolt. Where's the bolt? Right here, underneath this, there's a bolt. Oh. And there's one over here. Yeah, but there's nothing on the top. Maybe we have to take it off from underneath. Okay. It looks like it's about 10 mil, maybe. Good times. Oh, I need to spray some WD-40 on that and then try. There's a rubber bung there as well that came out one of the holes. Oops, they did. Oh. What's your head? The bolts look rusted that are under that mat. <laughs> Just choking you. Don't like spraying the beauty for the upside down. <laughs> Let's try 10 mil. Oh, are you going to undo that bolt? I don't even know if these are connected, but they might be kind of thing. Yeah, that's 10 mil. Right. Let's see how rusted they are. Whether on it they'll come loose. This is all full of water and it drains. I don't want it to drain on my head. This will be good content, Sam. I think that's just spinning the bolt. I don't think it's actually loosening it. Was that looking up when I was undoing that? Oh, yeah! Yeah, Oh, you don't take the driver one out, are we? Well, we do too. Well, that needs some cleaning out, some rush treatment. Ba -ba, let's have a look. What state nice are we in? standing water in there to get rid of. I'll do some. Is that rust? Yeah, so ideally, use the carpet vacuum to vacuum all the water out. Uh, then wipe out all the mud with some kitchen roll. Okay. And maybe we'll treat the rust later once we've got the floor mats. Look, because we've still got a lot to get up. Okay, let's dry this out. put some rust treatment on which is what's it called rust converter rust converter so we just paint it on it stops the rust getting any worse but it converts what was there back to a metal not as strong as it was but not far off okay cool 
And what, I just paint it on? Just paint it on. Thin or thick? Uh, in between. Yeah, just like you was painting a wall kind of thing. I oh. mean, you're, not, you're still going to see through it. There'll never be a thick enough coat that you can't see through it. But you'll find it will start turning the metal black as it reacts. And it's just a case of covering up all the orange bits and leaving it to dry kind of thing. So they're like white coated? Yeah, with this one just try and get both sides of it and maybe go a bit heavier there so it tries to work under that bit of step. Okay, fabulous. Well, that's about it. Let's get on with we'll that. Need you Nice job. Okay, and now I'm going inside because it's raining for five. Okay, so seats I'm going to uh, get the seats out. Should I help you or are you strong? You're strong, aren't you? He's strong. Watch that um, little pot behind. Don't knock that over. Our oh, rust treatment because I've got to do the other side of the van in a minute. Where are you putting that? Just on the grass I'm just for a minute. Stick that on there for now. If it starts raining again, we'll put it in the back of the van. Okay. Fabulous. So. Come on, here, man. Don't stand in that bucket behind you. <laughs> oh. Ta -da! We can sell these to people using them for Christmas. You know, when you have everyone outside, you're not allowed them in the house. These are like fancy garden chairs. Yeah. Seat everyone can sit on the social distance outside can't they fabulous these are really good condition seats yeah they are they, they're all uh, in surprisingly good condition and the guy said that they cleaned them as well they've had them cleaned so it's yeah like it's... they bought a minibus and they only ever use the driver's seat the rest of them seem perfect yeah the guy he's put some bits from me chair now on the bit that was nice and clean Wow, look at the rust under here. Does this need to be done as well? Yeah, we'll need to do this as well. We're nearly ready to take this floor out, so we'll do this then. The problems we've got is whoever installed the fire extinguisher for us riveted it in, which yes. means I can't get it out without drilling it out, and then I'd have to re-rivet it to put it back in, but I don't have a rivet gun. Okay. So I'm just going to cut a small slit so we can pull the carpet round it. It looks like it's designed to come this way because there's a gap at the driver's side so you can pull it all this way. So it's the only fun bit should be getting it over the gear stick. I'm going to join this cut to where it was cut for that so now we can work that around it and oh, pull it out. There we go, we have to work that around it now. Okay. Alright guys, this is the driver's side uh, door bit. Took out the matting again. And this is what we've got on this side, all the water, and again I'm going to do the same as last side. I'm going to suck it all out with a wet vac and clean it, hoover it, dry it and rust treat it. So I'll show you after the end result. What are you doing Sam? I'm taking these bolts out for part of the mounting for this, where the steering goes through to the engine bay. Okay. Uh, if I don't take this out we can't get this big mat out. Oh yeah, that's what our aim is now, to get this mat out and see what state the floor is underneath, try it, work back these mats and uh, yeah. All right, let's carry on. Okay, I lied guys, uh, Sam was ready quicker than I thought. Um, he's unbolted and everything, so now he's going to get this mat out. I while think I I'm going to get it out. Record. We'll see if we and get stuck. Not very helpful. Okay. There we go. Oh, that's oh, bad. Lordy, lordy. This is the rust reaction. <laughs> this is the rust reaction. No holes, but rusty. 
As long as there's no holes, we can treat rust. Yeah. Just some nice painting on that. Beautiful. Good job I've got an extra bottle of it, eh? Oh, did you get two bottles? Yep. <laughs> yeah, we'll definitely need that. Come round the other side. Extinguisher. That's the problem now. I'm trying to get round it. All right, let's pray there's no rust holes under this side. This is actually making my jeans wet and I wet the sponges. Yeah, I need to dry it all out. Oh, dripping. Watch the knob. It's a big knob. Yeah. Okay, coming out the door. Okay, now I'm out of the way. And we're done. We are out. Let's have a little look right, at this. Let me pull this out of your way and you can get a bit closer. Okay, and have a look at the state of the floor. Yeah, let's have a look what we're looking for. Not that I know what I'm looking for, but I know holes is bad. We don't actually yeah. have no any holes. holes that I can see. Oh, this is fine. This is just surface rust. The worst one's over there by the accelerator pedal. Let's give that a poke with a screwdriver and see if it goes through it. Okay. Let me come round bad, the it other side. Surfaced. Okay, wait. Okay, don't poke too hard. just surface it's just the paint's chipping not only will we uh rush treat this we will then paint back over it with white paint afterwards what white paint paint yeah i've got actually white poured transit paint we can use to paint this back oh is that that uh, thing you brought yeah i think what we need to do as well though is take these out because if we suspect this is where the water's coming down from we need to check these wheel arches aren't rusted so i'll start working it out to pull them out okay <sighs> and uh yeah so very rusty but Good. No holes, just surface rust, it's fine. That's what we wanted. Well, we don't want rust, but not a problem. Fabulous. Oh, right, I'm going to get on with uh, my step, because uh, <laughs> I'm on the uh, little jobs. <laughs> right, so while I am doing, um, I've cleaned out the base now, the footwell bit, uh, well, the door bit, and now I'm going to rust treat it. And I'm also going to rust treat the driver's side here. So, because you've seen me do that already, I'm going to let you watch Sam because he's going to take the headrest out and the headliner out and stuff so we can see what state the roof is in because it is a bit damp up there as well. So Ceilings, what? Right? Yeah, but it doesn't look like it's coming in from up here. It just looks like it's. Let's have a little look. Let's have a little look, guys. Let's see what we got. So the top is drenched. Oh yeah, I can see the wet. Yeah. But it doesn't look like. It's no rest. It's coming in. It looks like it's just simply in. <laughs> like it's evaporated it's all condensation every time the van warms up all the stuff that was in the bottoms evaporated then it's just soaked into the fabric there's not any rust in the roof though no all up in here is clean i think it's just going to be a case of wipe it down and it's good maybe like you said they did say that they cleaned it before we got it well if they did they sprayed the roof of fucking hose pipe yeah but i can't see anywhere where the water's getting in 
it's good then. Very good. We're happy with that. Ugh, just stuck my hair in there. <laughs> Get you some shampoo. <laughs> See what you got. All of that. Wow. And that wasn't actually spraying any water in. There's no cleaning chemicals in there. It was just sucking out what was there. Dirty water. And that's not all of it. I'm sure there's more in there, but that's as much as I can really get at the moment. We're gonna have yeah. to hang that up somewhere and point a fan heater at it or something. Guys, it's stay in my hair. It's wild. It's just been working hard. Right, guys, we're going to end the video here for tonight. Um, we're going to tidy up, put everything back in, and then tomorrow we'll be back to do the last part of the video. Um, we're going to take the roof lining down because we've looked through the bit where we've took off, and there's a little bit of damp um, running across the back. Hopefully, no rust. But yes, I'll be back tomorrow in the daylight to show you doing the roof, and uh, I will see you then. Right, it's the next day. We are back, and to finish off this video, I'm going to be doing a few more bits today with Sam for the van um, I didn't show you once we rust treated the floor yesterday me and Sam so let me show you that and I'm gonna tell you what we'll be doing all right so hopefully you can see so this is where we rust treated the floor yesterday all here we put the stuff on and it dries like black doesn't it Sam yeah when it's black it means it's finished reacting and it's not rusting anymore it's all good to paint over so yeah so we did this side and that side and yeah so the floor in the floor in the front is all done um we took the roof lining <coughs> down a um, bit of moisture there's still a bit more moisture today um and what we're going to do next is we're going to take this roof liner off and see if there's any leaks at the back and we'll fill any little rusty spots like that one um, with more rust treatment anything else we'll be doing that's about it really for today's uh, video i think depending on how quick this goes i might get up on the roof because there's the big square panel where there's the optional sunroof escape hatch nonsense and i just wanted to check that's all sealed and oh i'll still look at that yeah, if it needs. any rust up there that kind of thing lovely that's probably about as far as we can go today yeah hmm so yeah that's what we're going to be doing today probably do a bit of time lapse in and uh We'll be back for the outro and any other bits we decide to discuss with you. But for now, I'll see you in a minute. Right, so I'm going to start taking the screws out of the roof for the liner and... I'm going to start pulling all these plastic clips out. Yeah, and we'll, uh, we'll be back. <laughs> to take the roof off um, as you can see the ceiling is quite damp so we're gonna dry that out and uh, that's dripping over here <laughs> and then do some more rust treatment in the little bits where there is rust we'll so drying it out strip it back dry it out strip it back dry it out Beautiful. Yeah, just use the towels in the living room. 
Okay, I'll go grab them. again now and that's it we are finished for the van today we've done some rust treatment took the liners down from the roof you can't see obviously because it's dark now took the liners down and what else have we done got all the moisture from behind them yeah dried Did the roofs rust treatment inside and outside the van wherever there was any surface rust and round the windshield where we found the leak yeah found a leak uh, we think that the leak is coming in from the front windscreen so we've got some big load of silicon and someone's rust treated the window and you haven't done the silicon yet have you no that'll be when we have our next dry day which is thursday supposedly christmas eve so a few days away but yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you're enjoying our van build these are the bits that need to be done before we can start obviously pimping the van out um, the important bits so yeah I hope you're enjoying this and I hope you're going to enjoy our van series I'm not sure as and when I'm going to put them up but as we do bits um, along the way I will put videos up for you to oh some dropping stuff um, for you to watch so yeah thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you see you on Fridays at 7pm if this video goes up after Christmas and if it's before it's probably seven o'clock but I'm not sure what day thank you so much for watching bye